Aries, welcome to your 2020 annual reading. And this is quite a spicy spread, I gotta say, for all kinds of various reasons. This will not be a dull year for you, okay? Um, happiness is on the menu this year. <laughs> Definitely. I think y'all are going to be happy about hearing that. I, all the areas I know are about their happiness, being in their happy place. And I definitely saw, look at the sun there, as early as February. And it even came up, you know, in case spoiler alert, it's like over here as well. The sun, the sun, it's shining on you. Look, the sun there, the sun there, the sun there. Dear God, happiness shining down upon you all right now i'm not gonna lie to you you got challenges here <laughs> we'll talk about that in a moment okay look at that happiness though this is so about aries happiness and well-being and it might have to do with uh, the birth or conception of a child or maybe a new business a new enterprise a lot of activity for y'all going on um, this year with your fourth house having to do with home family, sense of belonging. Also, 10th house with your career, your uh, profession, your status out in the world. I'm hearing some readers say that this is like a year that if you're not in your dream job, you know, or you haven't found your purpose this year, uh, you're going to have to hang it up, okay? Because, I mean, you're not going to get this kind of astrological activity again for I don't know when, okay? So, um, great year with you getting recognition in your career, and I'm definitely seeing it here as well. Um, but I can also see how a lot of eighth house activity as well. That has a lot to do with other people's money, and I saw it showing up in the spread as well. Inheritance. Uh, your partner's money, your spouse's money, things like that. Now that we got all that loveliness out of the way, let's let's bring it back down to earth, okay? Because I, I got to keep it real on here. I mean, I want to tell you that Don Juan's riding in on a white horse next year and that you're, you know, going to hit the lottery. I know everybody wants to hear that, <laughs> but I can't lie. You did get the tower card also at the foundation, Right, so there's going to be some unexpected twists and turns that come up this year, some shocks, some awes, not a dull moment in your, you know, pursuit of happiness, okay? I don't know why, and just recently I was watching, again, that um, Will Smith movie, uh, Pursuit of Happiness, and it's popping back into my head again. Some of you might feel like that, okay? That, that's a rough movie. It's a very good movie. It ends on an extremely positive note. But, oh my God, what it takes for him to get to this happy place might be going through some tower moments, some things that are just not going to stand the test of time. And this is a year where, you know, I do see definitely in the third quarter of this year, you are trying to keep things on an even keel. You're maintaining your security, your stability, and it's because whatever can't hold up, it's going to fall out, okay? And it might have to do with a relationship. I do see Three of Swords here, so there might have been a third-party situation that has gone on. It can simply be that somebody has not been prioritized in a relationship. They put their family, their career, their pet issues, their addictions, whatever, above this other person. Or that for a while, somebody just has not had the courage to end a relationship that they know is empty. And this could be the year, if that's you and you're in a relationship where this has been going on for a long time, there's disagreements, there's incompatibilities, this could be the year where it falls out. And yes, this has to do with you making plans, uh, maybe with partnership, okay, uh, for your future. I do see a lot of you, if you are looking at, um, and I'm, I'm also seeing here the three becoming two. So if it has been a third party situation, I think that you are finally going to let go of one of these partners and bring it down to just two people here. And if you are totally single this year, you are making plans to partner and get rid of this type of releasing these past patterns of relating where maybe in the past you prioritize the physical connection, the attraction, you are dropping that, that habit, that pattern that's brought about connections with people where maybe you don't share values. There's some kind of incompatibility or difficulty you keep 
physically attracting people who you're not connected with on an intellectual, spiritual level. And by the way, this is a year, if you're single, where you're going to be more interested in that. Physical connection is going to take less of a priority for you than maybe years prior, where I can see a lot of drama has gone on for y'all with your love lives. Aries okay this is a year where you're more interested in partners who you connect with on an intellectual and spiritual level and if there is any kind of spiritual I'm sorry physical connection that gets started it's going to quickly move into a more of a um, spiritual connection because that's just become more more valuable to you I think you're letting go this is also a release and surrender type of, and I saw with the Oracle advice on Vimeo, more talk about that, you getting centered within yourself and you releasing and surrendering these habits that have maybe put you in um, partnerships that have not helped you get forward movement. Now, getting deeper into this spread, let me say that I see you coming into this year with a lot of... Um, tenacity you're working very hard you're being diligent but also maybe reevaluating what you're investing in to get harmony and happiness maybe in a home family situation maybe having to do with the way that you're communicating yourself i i do want to give you a word of caution though that there might be something that you're looking at this particular month of january where uh, you're not sure if you want to invest in it. You might think that it's not going to pay off for you. And, and later on, you might find out you are wrong. So just a word of caution about that. Okay, there's some kind of unpredictability there in the way that you're seeing things, what's going to pay off and what's not in terms of investing your resources. Now, by February, great energy if you want to start a new relationship. Um, look at this with the sun card blessing just shining down upon you and it might have to do with an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn getting some kind of wish fulfillment here but I'm also seeing that maybe something is going on with a timing issue and perhaps feeling like things are not moving forward as quickly as you would like but this could be um a change going on with your relationship status or again if, if it's ending maybe you're ending a relationship it's fallen out and if so I see this more in a positive tone and it might because it's wish fulfillment all right somebody's get they're really in their happy place in February but again either because you're ending a relationship and it's good riddance for you or you're changing your status your relationship status so really good now by March, I see with the nine of fire, well, maybe you are tired, maybe you're exhausted of with trials and tribulations, but you are holding really um, firm, okay, you're standing really strong, using your intuition, and it might have to do with moving house, okay, or taking some kind of passion and action forward on something, um, possibly your energy or another earth's uh, fire sign here. Yeah, I am saw something with a, you might have an air sign friend, okay, who comes into play uh, later on in May, all right? Because I see like a fire sign and an air sign moving towards each other. Um, and they're kind of, they're both knights. These could be friends, okay, moving towards each other. Um, but I am seeing here also attached to this fire sign some secrecy, hidden knowledge, and, and maybe you're just kind of holding that strong to hold things down with this nine of fire. But um, in April, your birthday month, I see again happiness with friends, family, and again, it's kind of an odd message because I feel like somebody's being generous and that's what they're happy about but at the same time somebody's under burden so the the reason for the generosity there there there's some maybe some unequal give and take or some somebody's being a giver or taker and there's some inequality in this relationship yet somebody's happy about what's being given to them and by may uh you've got king of water here so i'm seeing a lot of it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but I'm seeing a lot of emotional mastery here having to do with this tower situation, this fallout, whatever it is, betrayal, lies, deception 
maybe involving an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but I do see also possibly a shocking truth coming in, an inconvenient, stressful truth. Beware of communications during this time because I really think you're being pushed to demonstrate or develop more emotional mastery in these stressful events. By June, I see this nine of fire has developed into 10. It's, it's increased. And I warn y'all from the beginning of this year, be careful what you think is a worthwhile commitment and not. Be careful where you're investing yourself and where you're not because you might think wrongly. You, you might think that something is a bad investment and later on you, you decide, you realize, oh, damn, I should have invested in that, okay? I see taking on responsibilities as this first half of the year goes on and it gets to a breaking point with a ton of fire. Again, maybe one-sided giving in a relationship and maybe because maybe somebody doesn't know how to manifest their ideals in reality and as a result getting put out. Now, I saw maybe back in March um, somebody uh, moving moving house possibly in March or leaving the home, leaving a home in March and then somebody put out of a house possibly by June. Um, and so be careful with that. And I do see that if it's because of a lot of um, heavy responsibilities and financial, you know, somebody just was not, they were in fantasy land being delusional about this and they maybe get kicked out over it. By July, with a four of earth, I see somebody very frugal, protecting themselves, investing in themselves. Um, and I'm also seeing a lot, a lot of fours in this spread where you're just trying to hold on during this time. But this could be a time frame again with July where there's a period of necessary separation, a transition, okay, where you know where you lived is no longer suiting you and you're needing to find you know, or you went through some heavy responsibilities and this is evolve, evolving into things getting better, okay? But I think it is having to do with a habit that has gone on, a way of relating in relationships that have, it has maybe some kind of indifference in relationships that has immobilized you. So by August, I see that you are, again, holding back still, um, this is a very quiet time for you, third quarter, where you're healing, recovering, recuperating, maybe from some old wounds that have gone on with a soulmate, a soul union, and maybe somebody wants to communicate to you and maybe even enter into contract with you about something, but I don't really see you talking or taking action on it at all. Then in October... No, September. Then in September, I see there's some kind of division here, which I saw yet again back at that foundation. Yeah, three of, um, yeah. Okay, so this is some kind of painful separation going on where it might involve a Virgo, um, somebody being rejected, okay, because of holding back frugality, somebody not giving to this anymore, somebody being in scarcity mindset or protecting themselves. And this is, I'm going to say this is probably going to be the roughest time of this year, uh, June through September. All right. But it's not, you have free will. Okay. This is not written in stone. Number one is a general reading. Okay. So not everything here is going to apply to you. And number two, you have free will. You can take the advice and you can use the energies to your advantage. That's within your power. So I'm just giving you a heads up. Maybe work on saving your money this month because I can see this all throughout this year, particularly the first 10 months of this year. Areas can be prone to impulsive behavior and spending. So I've warned you, you know, Say for a rainy day, because I can see rainy days maybe coming here June through September. Now, the good news is it's going to turn around, really turn around in October. Uh, you've got the Ace of Earth, and I didn't know I had pulled actually two cards here by accident. They were stuck together. And so look at this. The ace through the 10, one through 10, this is a new solid beginning, a new opportunity, maybe with a home, a new job. Saw a lot of that uh, 
career recognition opportunities coming up for you in this last quarter of the year. Um, and next to that 10, it might come through shared resources, inheritance, family, a partner's wealth, okay? This is really super positive where also it's like whatever this opportunity is, it's going the distance. It's about leaving a legacy because you've completed a cycle. Whatever this heaviness was, okay, you're closing that out. You are beginning something anew on a very solid foundation because whatever has made it this far, what is ever, ever, whatever is still standing and didn't fall out by October, it's going to stand the test of time. And the... You know, that's being made clear to you with the sun there. You're getting blessing. You're getting vitality. And look, by November, growth. That's your energy, Empress. Or a mother figure, a very feminine energy here where I can see if you're in a new home, you're going to be during this month of October, November, entertaining guests in the home, making improvements to the home, feeling comfortable in your home, really good. And with you, it might involve an, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, again, where there's some kind of completion happening where you're getting achievement, you, something is coming to culmination, you're closing out a cycle, maybe involving an earth sign, or perhaps this new money news coming in, showing you have achieved and accomplished something, and now you're growing to the next level. I do see this as a time frame where you're really setting plans for 2021 based on what you've made it through, based on what you've learned from this previous year. And then with a the messenger of earth, again, more of this earthy energy where you're making slow, steady progress. Um, although I can see you or someone is maybe on the sidelines watching, uh, waiting, trying to get the victory in a matter where there's been a lack of agreement, there's been a battle of wills in a family or a group dynamic, or just the two of you could not come into agreement, but perhaps um, you do get some kind of victory by December, some clarity, breakthrough, awareness about what slow and steady, you know, efforts need to be made to overcome these battle of will issues. So really exciting stuff for you. And like I said, I mean, I know it's like there's some heaviness going on here, right? This is heaviness. But you're making plans and decisions this year with partnerships that are bringing you into happiness. And yeah, the sun is shining a light on maybe some things that are dark and you'd rather remain, remain in the dark. The good news, though, is it's bringing healing and vitality to you so that you can conceive a new beginning, a really solid one that I think is going to close this year out on a very positive note. I hope you're encouraged, Aries. And if you want to know more depth and detail with the astrology, the oracle cards, please join me on Vimeo for the in-depth version of this reading. And remember, I've got a generous three-month rental time frame um, so that you can watch and re-watch as I continue releasing these videos through this month and next month. I hope you will join me over there. Till next time, be blessed.